scary one for me this uh, I don't know if you can make that out just underneath the skin there I've got Mount Nesuvius bubbling up <laughs> she hasn't broke the surface yet which is not far off it's uh, hot to touch it's smooth and it's, it's, it's painful so, yeah, so I've got a, got a dirty great zit pluke spot whatever you want to call it building up under there so uh, I'm hoping I don't catch that but when you look at the razor I'm using today Right, if you remember when I, uh, a couple of videos ago, I uh, featured this razor, the Fair Shanked Green Cult, the Green Cult 2.0, designed and made in Austria. And I had two plates on that occasion, I used plate number two, which the razor comes supplied with. And that has a blade gap of 0 0.65 and a blade exposure of 0 0.10. Today, the end, because I thought that plate was vicious enough, I'm shaving on plate number four. Can you see the four dots there? Plate number four. This has a blade gap of 1.05 and a blade exposure of 0 0.25 zero yeah so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really not looking forward to this one at all i'm using the same astra green that i use in the first shake when i use a plate two and pop it on yeah so i found last time i found the plate two to be uh, adequate to say the least so there we are Gap zero point, sorry, one point zero five, exposure, zero point two zero. GC two plate number four in Roman numerals. There's a razor loaded up, ready to roll. Okay, so for today, another gift, one of the many many samples sent from Chuck, Chuck Shaving Channel, and it's Hendrix Classic Alpine Forest. Hendrix Classic. Alpine Forest, ready to uh, lard it up. I've used uh, a travelling brush on this occasion, it is a badger. It's a very, very low grade badger, it's only a cheap travel brush, it's a turn back. What do I mean by that? Well, that brush head disappears back inside the handle. So it uh, keeps the uh, the knots safe, whether uh, well, it's in your bag when you're travelling around. But it's a very, very cheap brush. I've used it a few times, it still smells of rotten dog and uh, what you can see in there, it's, it's shedding a few hairs. I've only used it a few times. But anyway, there's the lava, all done. Hendrix Classic Alpine Forest. Now that put that sensor that soap, it puts me in mind of uh, the good fella smile, Pino Alpestra. Very earthy, it's, it is, it's just like walking through a uh, crisp alpine forest in the autumn things are starting to get cold the leaves are damp underfoot proper forest scent can't describe it any better than that bit peppery bit spicy good stuff okay i am worried about this one i'm gonna have to try and swerve this i'm sure you can see that i'm sure you can see that i see yeah you can you can see how i'm monitoring myself so uh i to be very very careful now, coming to you from Hull at the moment, I'm in a hotel in Hull. It's spelled H U L L, but the locals don't pronounce the H, so it's Hull. Hull. It's actually Kingston upon the Kingston upon the River Hull, but uh, yeah, over the years it's adopted the name Hull, and the uh, Kingston doesn't really get used a lot, and uh, you never in Hull. So you got the lava on that spot. Makes it be really nice. Now, if you're ever in this part of the world, oh, first thing it strikes you is the uh, telephone boxes. It's all beige coloured. 
there's no red telephone boxes as you get in the rest of the uh, UK. And somebody from a Hull, oh, I said Hull, Hull, landline phones you, it'll always come up as a restricted number. Well, it used to anyway, I don't know if it still does, but uh, definitely used to. And that's because in all, they've never been part of the uh, normal post office telecommunications, the uh, British Telecom communications, never been part of the main network. They've had their own communication company called uh, Kingston Communications. So they adopted the same phone boxes as the rest of the country, but instead of them being red, they were beige. So yeah, just shouldn't have really told you that, but I did, but you know. <laughs> right, let's go with the uh, plate for. It's got some bite. <laughs> It's got some bite, but I am uh, I'm enjoying that blade feel. Ooh, wow. Oh, around that goatee, man. I can really feel that blade. Yeah, this is in the league. This is in the league with the uh, the beast, the R forty one. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to swear that spot there. Because the uh, this thing on plate four, it just. It do more. It do more than decapitate the spot. It rip it out from its root. <laughs> now, low open field blade. And I'm respecting it. It's doing fine. Pretty smooth. But this is only with the grain. Really feel that on the moustache. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm uh, picking up around the uh, East Yorkshire area and I'm going to uh, Handidno. In the North Wales, Cumbrae. I really, really wasn't looking forward to the, trying this plate, but uh, it's a lot nicer than I anticipated. I'll give it that. Keep me uh, voice down a little because there's a. Uh, obviously, there's people. I'm in a hotel, the walls aren't really thick. Right. Go for the second one. Go for the second one. Very, very pleasing sense indeed. Now, I'm hoping that this uh, video will upload during the night. I don't know how good the connection is, but it's one of those very rare hotels that actually charge you, yeah, for the internet, for the Wi-Fi. And, uh, so many of those left. It's a travel lodge, guys. Travel lodge. 
join the rest of the uh, tech revolution. Free Wi-Fi. Well, okay, cross the grain. Felt it jump there. This is really hard trying to avoid that. Now I put the blade anywhere near it. I can feel it. It's wanting to. It's wanting to. Uh, it's wanting to chop it off. Now, if I was using a, a milder razor, I probably would. But this thing's gonna take too much off. <laughs> We were there. First one. We've got a little red there. So I think for future journeys, I think. Uh, Maybe use the play four for the first pass with the grain. And swap it down to the two. Maybe even the one. You guys, have, uh, I was going to get the play three uh, sold out. You guys have got the play three. What, what's it like? If you're watching this, what's it like? Because <clears throat> uh, you weren't all that keen to uh, get the play floor, that's why I've got the bugger. Oh, look at that. Out on the neck. Someone tells me. After this uh, final pass, there's going to be uh, quite a few Japanese flags here. Well, I haven't got my uh, Allen block out ready. Never mind. Silly lad. Silly lad. I nearly chopped right into it then. Definitely not enjoying it against the grain there. Definitely not. This is going to be blood buff central. Staying away from there. Oh, good, I caught a monkey, bud. Slightest slip up. This thing on plate four, it's gonna have you. <laughs> it has done.
could be worse, <laughs> but it's uh, it's PBS. <laughs> Definitely not enjoying this last pass, guys. Definitely not. I'm just glad that this isn't a morning shave. <laughs> but say, uh, yeah, I knew this was going to be a, a bloody outcome for this place. Look at that. Not pushing it any more than that. Run for the cold rinse. Slipness is a uh, rinse off very easily. The water's making my uh, Next thing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bound to be some creepers after that one. Yeah, that play for. Pretty brutal. <laughs> we are in the realms of uh, R41 country there, I think. I uh, wouldn't like to use that play for every day. Not a chance, not a chance. But apart from a little spot of blood, everything feels great. And that's it there. Which, still in one piece. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, great post shave feel. Completely BBS. It didn't look around that uh, number four place. It didn't look around whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Good for the smile, P and oil pester after shake smash, smash, splash. Match that perfectly. Match it perfectly. It's gonna hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus, yes it does. Sorry for blasphemy there, sorry for the blasphemy. But uh, yeah, that, that was a good shake. Good sting, good sting. <sighs> what a sense. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the Hendrix Classic Alpine Forest. It's uh, it matches the scent of this uh, Pinot Alpestre perfectly. It's, it's wouldn't say it was as strong as the Goodfellas Smile Pinot Alpestre, but it's uh, certainly the same scent, but not as strong. If that makes sense to you. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. All done. I don't know what I look like in the morning, guys. <laughs> Right, let's go for the recap. Razor for today. Second time I've used this on YouTube. The first time was with the uh, plate two, which was uh, a 0 0.65 blade gap with an exposure of 0 0.10. Here we go. Here's the creepers coming. Here's the little spotters coming. Up there as well, one there. <clears throat> Only this occasion, <clears throat> the fair shank, which means fair gift, green cold two. I was using plate number four. Now a blade cap of a 1.05 and a blade exposure of 0 0.20 and don't we know it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I'd, I'd really like to try it with the plate one because I thought, the, I thought the plate two was uh, vicious enough so I, I, I knew it was going to be, I, I knew it was going to be a little bit bloody on the, uh, the plate number four but uh, it's not as bad a force it was going to be, to be fair. But uh, yeah, I think play four in future, it's just going to be with the grain when there's no uh, imperfections on the skin. So yeah, on that, and time to be fair, that's what fair shank do say. If you've got a heavy beard, five days more, stuff like that, that's the plate for you. Uh, for you is plate number four. So yeah, I'll reserve that when I do have heavy, heavy growth. It's going to be with the grain only. I'm not going to go across the grain with it or against the grain and drop down, back down to the plate two for that. So beware, plate four, it's a beast. It's a second beast of shaving. Uh, 
in the realms of the R41. Can't say more than that. Okay, so it was lathered up in my uh, shiny super noodle soup bowl, and the brush was, uh, upon reflections, uh, turned back. Travel brush, badger, and that was all finished off with the Pinot Alpestra aftershave splash. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the blood. I hope it wasn't too painful. Just letting you know what that plate's like. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the recent subscriptions, comments, likes. I appreciate you all. Bye now. See you further down the line.